welcome. Thank you for sharing this eternal moment with me. I'm so happy that you're here. We are doing a pick a card reading for the new moon energy in Cancer. So new moons are all about setting intentions for what we want to bring in. It's a time for new beginnings, new adventures, new opportunities, new relationships, just that fresh overall energy. And by allowing new energy to come in, we have to first let go of energy that doesn't serve us, energy that doesn't have our best interest at heart. And we can do that also with our intention. So set the intention to let these things go so that you can welcome in new blessings. So the sign of cancer is a very sensitive and emotional sign. So you may be feeling more emotional and uh, it's important, you know, to feel your emotions and understand where they're arising from, but also it's important to make your decisions based on common sense and not let your emotions cloud your decisions or your judgments and this is a time where you know we will really be you know tuned in to our loved ones um, and the people that we care about and we might have the the inclination to worry about them but have that unshakable faith that all is well that they are okay that they are safe that they are healthy and so it shall be worrying does not help anything or anybody it actually just amplifies that energy of what you're worried about and it makes it more likely to happen so instead focus on what you want to happen focus on the health on the wellness on the abundance know that everyone is okay and use your kindness and your love um, to help fuel yourself in this in this time and nurture yourself love yourself and of course nurture and love others as well it's important to care for yourself no matter how you are feeling and always make sure that you are making decisions and you are choosing to do things that help you feel better and that um, you know let's say um, you feel like a little bit selfish by wanting to do something for yourself but it will actually benefit you and the surrounding situations and people by doing what is best for you so keep that in mind during this time but connect to your breath tune into your body and begin to just focus on allowing you know energy and blood flow to move through you breathing deeply from your belly filling the belly filling the chest and exhaling releasing the belly releasing the chest breathing this way for a few moments and then when you open your eyes you're most likely going to be drawn to one of these three piles you can choose based on the piles themselves or based on the crystals that they have so pile number one we have the seer which is rose quartz amethyst and smoky quartz so smoky quartz amazing for releasing rose quartz amazing for love and forgiveness and amethyst great for intuition and our personal power and wisdom and then we have another love stone citron and citron is amazing for um, finding our soul purpose our passions our inspirations and enthusiasm for life finding our motivation and of course helping us love ourselves and love others and then we have our rose quartz which is amazing love stone as well great for forgiveness um, openness acceptance um, it is wonderful for just allowing us to be receptive to love around us and to good energy and it's a wonderful but very gentle um, healing stone so we are going to get right into it <laughs> So from our Isis Oracle deck, Ancient Egyptian Feminine Wisdom card, we have Past Life Present Power. As the soul grows in service to the Great Feminine and her intention that all beings be healed and free, it gathers internal resources to assist on the path. These resources include gifts of powers from other lifetimes. You are currently integrating past life abilities open to what is taking place as your soul awakens ancient powers and abilities within you. Amazing. So begin to just work on um, just different skills and different things that you're interested in and start to do them a little bit more regularly or consistently and just allow, you know, allow yourself to try different things out and um, 
don't you know put yourself in a box try things maybe you haven't done before and you will be able to see um, these different skills that you have that you haven't even tapped into yet and you will see how quickly you will master them and these this is happening because you have mastered this skill or this talent in other past lives and it is time to reintegrate this into this present moment this present timeline beautiful and we also have oh gorgeous we have ace of cups so the ace of cups is all about long lasting love hmm. so this is a cup that is overflowing so no matter what you put into other people you know what whatever energy you put out you are continuously getting this energy back filling your cup all the way up so that you may overflow your cup with good energy so that you may always have enough energy to share with others so that you may always have this great power and this strength within you to give and because you are so giving you are allowing yourself to also receive and by receiving you are allowing this cup of yours to be overflowing with not only love and peace and joy but abundance as well and as you can see there is a hand outstretched holding this cup and this shows that there is divinity around you and no matter what you try to do um, no matter what tries to get in your way they won't hold a candle to you because you are in such a high vibration you are honoring the sovereignty within you you understand your personal power your strength from within and you are receptive to this good energy around you and you are open to receiving this angelic beautiful divinity that is helping you to you know to continuously have your cup filled and there is a dove um, over top of this cup which is symbolizing peace and love and this dove has a little cross or a plus sign so this shows that there is positivity all around you and you are connected to the divine 110 percent and um you will always have you will always be connected to this divinity and by always continuing to tap into yourself you will always be connected um, to this source energy that will always be um, giving into you flowing positive energy towards you uh, because you are open to accepting it acknowledging it and using this uplifting positive energy not only to heal yourself uh, but to heal your loved ones and the world as well so that is amazing water is also you know the sign of cancer um, the sign of emotions and sensitivity of intuition so honor your thoughts and your feelings share your emotions and your feelings with your loved ones it's important um, to talk about how you feel um, so that others can also feel open to expressing themselves as well as we open up and talk about what's within us we are able to not only heal ourselves but heal the collective as well so in the next card we have the hanged man so um, this card came up in reverse so this tells me that um, you have recently been in a time of reflection or you need to be going into a time of reflection. Um, so taking time and to understand what your feelings are and where they're coming from is going to be really helpful for you and will take will bring you a lot of clarity and a lot of wisdom. Um, so understanding why certain situations have happened the way that they have and understanding why, you know, different cycles are happening, um, perhaps understanding why, understanding why you're on this journey that you are, understanding your path more clearly, um, and, you know, in this hanged man position, he is illuminated and he is beginning to you know see past um, 
what meets like face value like he's he's able to see past what meets the eye and to tap into his intuition and um, his his power so that he can understand what is happening within him at this time so this definitely indicates that either you have just been in this reflective period or that you should go into this reflective period and it this card shows that by going into this reflective period by you know really understanding your thoughts your feelings situations that have happened um, gaining clarity and wisdom from these experiences will bring great growth and expansion will bring abundance will bring um, you to a place where you really understand your purpose and you understand why things have happened the way that they have so you can heal from them and move on so you can receive these blessings that are yours so that you can move away from this energy that has been weighing heavy on you so that you may release and take charge and really cultivate the wisdom that is within you and we have eight of pentacles so eight of pentacles shows you know hard work and determination um, it's a sign that you know that you could be working long or longer hours to try to create something or bring something to fruition trying to you know bring maybe more abundance into your life maybe you're really working on a craft or a project um, that is a bit time consuming, but that is totally worth the effort. Um, he is dressed in brown, so it's a this is a, a really great color of protection. Um, so, you know, keep working away on what this this uh, might be, this craft or project, um, this type of work, and know that you are going to be creating abundance from this. So do not give up and keep going because you are on the right path. You're moving in the right direction and spirit wants you to know that. And we have breath with the dolphin. Okay, let's see what the dolphin wants to say. If the dolphin has swum into your cards today, you are being prompted to review your life by asking questions that may trigger heartfelt reactions to your time in your mother's womb. Ask yourself what life was like for you and your mother during this time. Consider the possibility that there may be things you are trying to bring to fruition that are unconsciously being blocked by your memory of your time in the womb. Are you symbolically holding your breath as you intuitively remember anxiety, the stress of your mother and your birth, for example? To answer this question, sit in the sacred silence, still your inner chatter and self-doubt, and meditatively journey back through your life to your time in the womb. Relive your birth, your first birthday, and every birthday thereafter. They will act as anchors, starting points from which you may proceed to examine your life. Talk to your mother or someone you trust to help you remember. Evaluate the details that stand out and see them as a foundation on which to remap your journey, to check your life's blueprint, and to review the sacred contracts you signed before entering this world. See this as an opportunity to reclaim your power, to rebirth, and to finally honor the first breath you ever took. Amazing. So self-reflection is really coming out for you and, you know, um, spending time um, working on your passions, your creations, is really going to help um, you heal, but will also help you know bring the life that you want to live. And um, by going and reflecting on your path and your journey, your life so far, you will get great clarity into um, to what may be blocking you and to what steps you can take so that you can move forward fearlessly and bravely and so that you can live the life that you were born to live. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you heard what you needed to hear and happy new moon. I hope that you set your intentions and just know that they will absolutely come to fruition. So uh, based on the energy of a cancer and it being the water sign, I got rained out, so I had to move inside. So new location. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I love being outside, so it's kind of weird to do it inside, but you gotta do it. 
what you gotta do. So for those of you who picked group two, we have Citrin, the Love Stone, that has some lovely water energy all over it, soaking wet. <laughs> oh, healing the Divine Masculine. So the Divine Masculine within provides protection, discernment, healing, a sense of deep safety and holding, even through the most uncomfortable circumstances of life. Your inner masculine is going through healing right now, growing stronger in the ability to offer your in offer you inner protection and stability so that your inner feminine can blossom with creative expression. Beautiful. This is a really great card and I think it goes well with um, the, this new moon in Cancer because um, Cancer is really about duality too. So honoring the light and the dark, honoring the masculine and the feminine. And this card is saying that, you know, there might have been um, times where, you know, you didn't feel safe or you had trouble like discerning um, what's right for you and what's not, um, what path to take and what not to. Um, and then having this, this card come up just allows you to be aware that, you know, things are beginning to shift and balance is taking place and you are going to feel more protected and more safe and having the awareness um, that, you know, from a higher vibrational perspective, having the awareness that you know that you're safe, that you are healed or healing, having the the awareness and the thought process to switch your perspective from the lack or fear mentality to the love or abundance mentality, um, knowing that you are always protected, you are always safe, rather than worrying about feeling unsafe or that something bad is gonna happen or there's always something bad around the corner. So just being mindful and switching that perspective um, when you can and when things come up. So let's say you um, all of a sudden have a big worry like, oh my gosh, like I'm gonna fall, for example. Just say, no, I am stable, I am safe, I'm protected and things can shift, miracles exist. And all that you need to do is shift your vibration because things can only happen in the frequency that you're living. So for example, you can only experience negative things if you're in a low vibrational energy. But if you're in a higher vibrational energy, you are going to experience things that are of good nature and that are of love and of healing. Um, so just being mindful of where your mindset is at and in moments of doubt and fear, shift to faith and to love and to honoring yourself and knowing that things are working out just as they're meant to. So this is a beautiful card recognizing that you are going to be able to discern much better what is for you and what is not, and you are going to be able to heal and feel safe and protected. And by doing so, you are going to be able to express yourself more freely, more easily um, by doing things you know that you're passionate about or things that you love without having to hold back. So this is a really beautiful card. Okay, we have Knave of Wands. So it was in reverse. So this, this um, card symbolizes being very stable. Um, he's like looking out into, I want to say the abyss for some reason, looking out, um, at the horizon or at the landscape and he's feeling confident and sure of himself, feeling super grounded, feeling, um, this sense of ease within himself, knowing that he's got it going on and that he has unshakable faith in himself that he can get the job done and no matter what comes to face him, he will be grounded, he will be stabilized, strong, um, fierce. So because this was in reverse, it's telling me that you're not feeling so grounded right now. You're not feeling so stabilized. You're not feeling like you can face anything that comes to you. And this goes back to the mindset thing again. So 
having the mindset, you know, that you can take on anything the universe throws at you because the universe will never give you anything that you cannot handle. So just having this awareness and you know, you know, the universe is testing you sometimes to see where you're at, if you're going to choose one path or choose the other. So have faith in yourself, have courage and be brave and know that you can handle anything that comes your way and feeling grounded and feeling stabilized is going to help you um, feel this fierceness within you so that you know without a doubt that you can take whatever the universe is throwing at you and move past any challenges and come out stronger and more alive than ever. So. One way to feel really grounded is to imagine roots growing from the bottom of your feet into the ground and literally plugging into the earth. And by doing so, you're anchoring yourself with your intention into the earth so that you may feel grounded. And another way that you can um, feel more grounded is by visualizing the color red because red represents our root chakra, which is for safety and grounding. So visualizing a vibrant red spinning in a clockwise direction, moving faster, faster, getting brighter and brighter um, at your tailbone level will really help you be more grounded. And if you want to take it one step further, you can do both of those at the same time. So imagining roots plugging into the earth and then visualizing this red spiraling energy at your tailbone, spinning faster and faster, getting brighter and brighter, moving in a clockwise direction while you're plugging into the earth. This will absolutely instantly ground you. Another easy way is just like putting your feet outside in um, nature, in the ground, in the mud, in the water, anything um, to really help, you know, ground you to the elements, ground you to the earth. Um, so try out these things um, if you'd like. It will definitely help you feel more grounded and there's a many um, different YouTube uh, styles of music that you can um, type in for like the root chakra and for grounding. So go ahead and find a root chakra playlist and listen to it and it will absolutely help um, solidify this, this uh, frequency within you. So I hope that helps. Mm, okay, so now we have the Five of Cups. So have being in a Cancer sign, you know emotions are high and it can be really easy to focus on what's going wrong instead of what's going right. I have totally been there, you know, sometimes I still get hung up on it and the best thing that I can do for myself and that you can do for yourself is turn that focus onto what you're grateful for. Thankful for what you have going on. Sorry, my cat's got the zoomies. So be thankful for what's going right for you. Be thankful and grateful for things in your life that are working out. And you know, things sometimes don't work out for a reason. And sometimes it's, it's hard to see that in the moment. But by having faith, you know, that everything is working out just as it's meant to, you will begin to see why things happen the way that they do. And you will be able to switch your perspective. You will be able to gain wisdom from your experiences. And you will be able to have a stronger um, sense of self and knowing that you deserve the best and you deserve to be happy and you deserve to focus on what is going well so you can attract more of that to you. Because as you can see in this card, this guy is really down and he's focusing on these three spilled cups over here, but he's got two right behind him that he's not paying any attention to. Um, as an example, last year I lost two of my cats at the same time. Um, like one of them went missing first and we were so devastated and upset and we were focusing on all our energy of having this missing cat, having this devastation happen to us. And then we lost our second cat. And I cannot describe the feeling of, of just despair and sadness and grief. Um, it tore us apart. And um, it wasn't until we lost both cats 
that I realized that I was focusing all on my, my energy on, you know, the loss instead of what I still had, which was my other cat. And when that other cat went missing, I felt so sad, so lost. And it wasn't until that moment that I realized how much that I had. And, you know, thankfully I was aware of these types of mindset shifts and I was able to have this faith, this unshakable faith that I would find my cats. And you know what? I did. And I was doing intention magic like crazy and I did not give up. I went looking for the cats every single day, always just imagining how I would feel to have them return. And miracles exist. Both my cats came back. I know miracles exist and I know miracles can exist for you too, but it's all about our shift in the mindset. The feeling is the secret to everything. And if you can change that focus, change that feeling to be a little bit more positive, you know, a little bit higher on that vibrational scale, miracles can come because you're shifting into the next level of vibration where things of that nature, of that vibration will be attracted to you. So remember, focus on what's going right, not what's going wrong, and you will begin to attract all of the things that are going right and that are meant for you. So I hope that helps. Okay, let's spin this around so you can see. This was in reverse. But let's keep it upright so that we solidify that you are grounded, you are healed, you are strong, you are protected. And we can keep it visual up here. Okay. So we have Queen of Cups. So this is a drastically different card than the rest of the ones that we've pulled so far. Um, so the Queen of Cups is all about beauty and divinity and peace, newness, tranquility. It's about new beginnings and it's about feeling stabilized, strong, grounded, balanced. And this lady, she is sitting on a green throne and the green represents the heart chakra. So she is sitting, she is sitting on her heart throne and she wears her heart on her sleeve and she holds her cup steady and cups symbolize um, emotions. So she honors herself and her emotions and she does not allow her emotions to take hold of her, to for, like um, sway her any type of way. She, is, she uses her logic and her common sense to make her decisions much like this time of cancer where we should be really focusing, you know, on using our common sense to make decisions so that our emotions aren't going to um, cloud our decisions or cloud um, how we feel about certain things. Um, so by like honoring your emotions, but keeping them stable, keeping them, um, keeping the awareness of them, understanding where they're coming from, but also using the, the logic to make steps and um, to under, understand like the facts and, and the situation of everything that's going on and see things as they are and not let, you know, the perspective get shifted because of emotions. Um, so this lady, she is dressed in yellow and yellow is all about the solar plexus about enthusiasm and joy for life um it's about you know being motivated and having self-confidence so do what you need to do to boost your self-confidence maybe um you know do something that makes you feel good maybe get a massage um, you could, you know, get your hair done, maybe, you know, um, give yourself a facial, um, you know, maybe meditate, do some kind of thing, some kind of self-care that will improve your confidence and that will make you feel really good um, because when you feel really good, then um, more good things can happen. And when you feel... Um, 
And when you feel any kind of like emotions, you can, you know, write them down and see them for what they are rather than letting your mind create stories that may not even be true. This is a strong and powerful lady. So I'm really happy you get you that this came up and I'm happy that it came up as one of the last um, cards with from the tarot. Um, having, you know, this be in reverse and then um, having that perspective like, oh no, we can become grounded and that we can be brave and strong and courageous and get the job done and handle anything that comes my way um, to, you know, saying, refocusing on um, things that are going right and that are going well and by doing so um, you are going to create this feeling of of peace of tranquility of um, being grounded and being in your heart um, being in control of your emotions not allowing your emotions to sway your decisions and taking like a practical more logical approach um, when trying to discern what is for you and what is not um, laying all the cards out seeing all sides all perspectives and then making your decision uh, perhaps allowing you know a little bit of time a little bit of buffer time after something just happens that makes you feel really emotional just giving yourself time and space before maybe responding to someone or before um, go going ahead and doing something just allowing you know things to settle nurture yourself and write down your feelings and then come back to the situation um, when you're more p at peace, when you're more calm, um, so that you know your emotions aren't clouding your judgment or, or clouding your decisions. And you know, this card is really saying that um, you are strong, you are stable, you are peaceful, you are in your heart, and you just have to believe in yourself and you are absolutely, um, and you will absolutely be in this energy of the Queen of Cups, which is amazing. Oh! Ah! <laughs> we have the Frog! 29. Cleansing! Oh, I love that! We just did the, fro the Frog Pose in the yoga, so go ahead the yin yoga that I made. Get your frog going on. Mm. Just got chills. 29. So 9, 10, 11. So in numerology, this is the number 11 and 11 is about illumination. So seeing beyond the veil, seeing beyond what meets the eyes so that you can read the energy and really see what's going on um, beyond the physical. And um, If the frog has sung its way into your cards today, you are being encouraged to embrace your tears and to see them as a chance to rid yourself of emotional, physical, and spiritual burden. Frog is reminding you to take time out for yourself, to shun negativity and fear, and to release emotional baggage. Frog dreaming teaches us to welcome and honor our tears and to see them as healthy way to cleanse the soul of pain, grief, fear, and longing. It offers us the chance to recharge our batteries and reclaim a sense of balance and healing in our lives, thus affording us a fertile new ground on which to start again. That is gorgeous. And it really goes well with all these other cards um, coming out of that fear-based mindset and coming into um, more of like a faith and love mindset, knowing that things are working out as they're meant to, um, focusing on what's going right and allowing to to honor your emotions and what's coming up for you um, and, to, and to cry if you need to cry let it go let it out it's so healing and by doing so you are actually releasing this energy from your body and you know you're using this water element within you to to absolutely cleanse away anything that's been weighing heavy on you so that you can feel refreshed and recharged so that you can work out you know things that have been going on so you can heal and you can move into your into your fresh start oh that was gorgeous i hope that you heard what you needed to hear group two have a wonderful new moon in cancer and remember to set your intentions um if i had to give you you know um 
an intention to set, it would be to be in that love-based mindset. So what you can do is write on a piece of paper, I am of the love vibration, or I am of the faith vibration, or I have complete unshakable faith in myself and love for myself, something like this. And, you know, write it down, write your name on it three times, write your name, write your name, write the date, and write your address three times. And then on the other side, write this little statement of your intention of what you wanna bring in. Maybe it's um, having more clarity of what's for you and what's not, having strong discernment. Um, just being in this stabilized, grounded, um, you know, energy. So write whatever um, you feel intuitively that you need to, um, and then you can, um, I was gonna say burn it, but since it's like the, the water element around this new moon, soak it in water, soak it in water. And then allow that to be released to the universe. So fun. Well, I had a great time with you. So have a wonderful new moon and we will see you again. Bye. Hello group three. Welcome to your reading. We have the beautiful rose quartz for the heart healing, for forgiveness, for self-love, for loving yourself, loving others. So that's gorgeous. Let's get right into it. So we have key to life. The ink portends new life being born through you now. This new life being born in whatever form will enrich your life, bringing you more into wholeness and fulfillment. Do not give up on your creative destiny. Stay with it. You are flowing in the right direction and you have spiritual support from the unseen worlds. Let it happen. Beautiful. Do not give up, dear one. You are on the right path. You are on the right track and keep doing what you love. Keep following your heart and following your dreams one step at a time, one day at a time, doing things that are in alignment with your dreams, with your morals and your values, and continuing to consistently move in this direction of things that you love and things that bring you joy and fulfillment and knowing that you are on the right path and you are doing so well and the angels and your spirit guides are so proud of you and they are, they are here with you every step of the way. And if you feel like you need a little bit more help, you can feel free to call them in to ask for their assistance. Just say, I ask you angels and my spirit guides to assist me now in this healing, in this journey, um, anything like that. You can intuitively, you know, say whatever you feel, um, but we are in a planet of free will. So we have to ask for the assistance. They are always with us, but they cannot um, intervene unless we ask. So ask for their assistance, ask. For them to help you and they love you and they will absolutely always be there for you. Ah, oh my god, chills, ten of cups. So this is such a wonderful card. It's the card of completion, completing cycles. There is a beautiful rainbow with these ten cups here and the rainbow is super healing and very high vibrational and um, it is it helps, you know, balance it. This is showing that, you know, all of your energy systems are balanced, that you are healthy, that you are doing well, that you are abundant. There's so much joy and happiness going on. And um, this is a sign that, you know, you might've completed a goal or just, you know, completed this thing that you've been working so hard on. And um, you are gonna have great joy and fulfillment from this. You are feeling so grounded, so at peace, and just so in awe of, you know, all that has happened, all the circumstances that have led you right here, right now, in this ending of this cycle. And then we have um, kids, you know, dancing in the background just shows how much fun and how much joy is around you at this time and this 10 represents also new beginnings and what is you know happening at this new moon new beginnings new adventures new relationships new opportunities new blessings so welcome in these new blessings and opportunities with open arms and just surrender and flow 
and just know that everything is working out as it's meant to. You have worked so hard and you know all your hard work and everything is paying off and um, you should feel so happy to be where you are in this moment and if you're not then switch your mindset and begin to be grateful for what you have going on and how much you've accomplished so far because this card is really showing that you should be so proud of yourself and you should be so grateful for how far you've come and for all of the experiences and situations that you know have confronted you or challenged you and you have pushed past it you have you know boldly went forward and you've achieved this goal this dream so keep going with it you are doing so good and the universe wants you to know that okay so we have knight of cups so this card is in reverse. So um, this is a card of steady movement forward. So because it's in reverse, this is telling me that there's something in the way that's not allowing you to take those steps forward. It could be an energy block. It could be somebody in your life that is trying to hold you back um, consciously or unconsciously. So if there's something from the past that has kind of been weighing heavy on you and been like tugging at you a little bit, um, it's time to let that go and to leave it behind, to leave it in this old chapter, into this old cycle, because it's time to move forward. Even if it's baby steps at a time, it's time to move into this new beginning. And you can't do that when there's old energy tugging on you and pulling you back and holding you back. And, you know, taking these, these steps forward is really going to help you feel more into alignment and solidify this new beginning and this fresh start. And, you know, you, maybe you're feeling that, maybe you're feeling just like not very courageous or brave. Maybe um, your passion is down. Maybe something happened that has you feeling a little bit low vibe. Um, but... The, the most important thing would be going for and doing things that really lift you up and that make you feel good and staying and straying away from the things that are holding you back, blocking you intentionally or unintentionally and um, weighing heavy on you. And it's really important to let the, these things go so that you can really appreciate this ending and completion of a cycle so that you can move into new territories, new beginnings with new relationships and new friendships um, and let go of the ones that aren't serving you, that don't have your best interest at heart because you deserve these new beginnings. Even if it's baby steps at a time, you deserve to move into this new territory um, of peace, of healing, of love, of abundance. And it's truly time to let go of these this past cycle so you can complete it fully and step into this new life. So just become aware in the next little while about, you know, how you're feeling, about things, you know, how... Um, about things that you know don't make you feel good and becoming aware of, of what it is that doesn't make you feel good and why it doesn't make you feel good and moving in the opposite direction of things that do make you feel good, understanding why they make you feel good and then moving in that direction. So these are really great cards for just like opening your eyes and just knowing, you know, um, and observing of like what is going right and going well and where you should be going and working towards and what is just like anchoring you down into this old life that you are ready to leave behind. Um, so with this, this waterfall in the background is, it's very spiritual and is powerful. And um, you know, water can be very calm or very, very fierce. And you know, it's it takes, Sometimes, you know, people or situations need this fierce energy to move through them, this boldness, this braveness, this courage. And other times, you know, you need different energy to um, 
to move through a situation, having a more calm or more centered and balanced approach. Um, so just becoming aware of the situation at hand, and what energy you need to use that will, um, that will allow you to move through situations uh, freely so that you can end these cycles and um, you know honoring honoring how you feel and if you need to be fierce be fierce the universe wants you to be fierce and you know if you feel like you need you know that calmness then approach it that way too so just do you know what your intuition is telling you and um it's time to move into this new cycle. So really let go um, of the past, let go of situations that aren't working for you, that don't have your best interest at heart, and move into the direction of people and places that do have your best interest at heart. So you can be happy, free, and live in these new adventures, these new blessings with people that really care about you and love you. All right. And we have the lovers card so this card is also in reverse so if there's somebody or something blocking you and holding you down from experiencing these new beginnings that are yours because you've completed this cycle it's time to move on um, if there is something holding you down or a person um, a situation that is has been holding you back um, it's time to really let them go because it's if you don't it's preventing you from this new love from this new experience that is meant for you it gives me chills because what what you know you have that's that's holding you down weighing on you perhaps sitting on you trying to make you not leave not move on to this new brighter future it's time to throw them off and step into this new beginning because there is love waiting for you. It could be, you know, a new friendship, a new relationship. There is love waiting for you. It could be a new, you know, relationship that is really meant for you. And if you don't fully let go, then it can't, it's, if you don't let go and you stay in this lower vibrational not um not doing what you know you should be doing staying in this low vibe kind of um this low vibe mindset is just going to hurt you in the long run so it's really important to let go and to release what's not serving you and understand what isn't serving you so that you can create space for new beginnings and new love to enter into your life. This card was in reverse. So if you don't let go, this love cannot show up for you because this love is high vibrational. It is meant for you and it can only be attracted to you when you meet this person in that vibration. So it's really important to let go of anybody that's holding you back. You will have the awareness of who it is. That person is probably in your mind right now. Let them go because they're not meant for you because this person is. This fresh energy, this new person is. And it gives me chills. It gives me chills. Okay. So good. Like the angels is, really, is like, ah. Huh? flowers and such and we have a snake here in the background and snakes are all about transmutation and that is a complete you know form of healing and transmutation like you can take the dark you can experience the dark and you can extract the wisdom and and the knowledge from that darkness and by doing so you bring it to the light by that awareness you bring it into the light that is a form of transmutation by letting go what's not serving you you can transmutate into a new higher version of you where you can experience the love that is meant for you and 
where you can feel, you know, this amazing energy around you all of the time. The angels want this love for you. And, you know, the sun is just shining bright, shining like you should be. And if you don't feel like you're shining right now, that is a big sign that it's time to let somebody go because they're dimming your light. So let them go. So you can experience these new beginnings with this person that loves you so much. You know, they're, you guys are meant for each other and it can only come in when you meet each other in that high vibrational state. So shine like the sun because you are and you are the light and you know have unshakable faith that this person is coming and um that you are going to meet very soon as soon as you let go of what is not meant for you and what has been holding you back Ooh, we have 22 which is a number of self-mastery which is amazing and we have the wallaby progression. So this says to me that we are getting through and that you are going to lift your vibration up, let go of things that aren't serving you so you can experience the new love in your life. So let's see what the wallaby has to say. If the wallaby has hopped into your cards today, consider that you may be dwelling on some past event and using it as an excuse to linger in your shadow space. Despite good reason, you may be blaming the event for your lack of healing, growth, or release of pain. Wallaby is priming you to leap into the future without regret with a healthy respect for your grief. Wallaby helps you move forward to explore new horizons, take risks, avoid the temptation to look back with regret, and never return to your comfort zone once you have left. Wallaby takes the pains from the past dissects them and extracts their purpose to find their reason. This reason is the vital ingredient in releasing your personal power. The ingredient that can be shared among the people to aid in their healing. Onwards and upwards is a motto that champions the advice Wallaby offers those who seek its counsel. That literally describes everything that we've been talking about. So extracting, you know, all the wisdom from the experiences that you've had um, to gain insight onto why they've happened and for what purpose, because now that you've learned and you've seen and um, you know that it hasn't served you, so it's time to let these things go to release once and for all and take that leap of faith knowing that you have such a bright future ahead of you and you do not have to hurt like the way that you have in the past. Time to explore new opportunities, new horizons. Onwards and upwards. Wow, that was amazing. Well, I hope that you heard what you needed to hear, Group 3. You know, maybe you should find yourself some rose quartz to assist you on this healing journey so that you can absolutely move into these new beginnings, these new territories. Um, so that you can welcome in new blessings, taking those, you know, steps forward, letting go of what's no longer serving you so that you can absolutely have this love well be welcomed into your life so that you can move onwards and upwards, just like that. Have a wonderful new moon in Cancer. I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you so much for being with me and we'll see you in the next video.